Hello everyone, welcome to your Friday lunch break. I'm Tanya Rivero. Google continues its march into scientific research by going inside the human body with what might be its most ambitious science project yet called Baseline Study. The aim is to collect genetic and molecular information from thousands of people to create the fullest picture yet of a healthy human. Here to tell us more is WSJ reporter Alistair Barr joining us from San Francisco. Hi Alistair, thanks for being with us. Hey there, thanks for having me. So there are other mass medical and genome studies out there. How will Google's baseline study be different? Um, so the, the, it's basically the passage of time and the, and the march of technology. Um, a, lo a lot of these studies have been um, tried in the past, but the computing power and the ability to collect lots of data from lots of different tests and mush it all together has not been available. But now these things have all come together and, and Google is basically um, grabbing the opportunity to, to try, it, try it on a grand scale. Well, Google certainly has the infrastructure. Now, my understanding is that Google hopes to ultimately gather info from thousands of people, but is starting out with just 175. Where are they getting this pool of people and will it be big enough to tell researchers anything significant? Um, the 175 um, pool will be for a pilot test and they're, they're using a, 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 an independent third party um, clinic, which is going to get volunteers. Um, and then the clinic is going to collect all the, all the samples and they're going to um, they're going to measure the samples and, and analyze them and uh, work out some of the nitty gritty stuff like how, how to handle the samples and then how, how it all works. And then once they've done that, they're going to design a much bigger, um, a much bigger study um, from the findings of the pilot and, and Duke University and, and Stanford Medical School are going to get involved at that point. And these are anonymous volunteers, correct? Yeah, that's right. There, there's some concern about Google knowing um, your uh, cellular structure down to your down to your molecules. But yeah, it's um, it's going to be anonymous. So the clinic um, and the clinics that are going to collect this information, there's going to be some, uh, a lead investigator there who is going to collect the information and then they're going to actually at that point separate um, the names and, and the other details of, of the volunteers from the actual data. And tell us about this fascinating smart contact lens the participants have to wear. Yes, yeah, so Andy Conrad, who's running this, this project, um, is also overseeing the, the smart contact lens um, project. He showed me it when I was, when I was at Google early this week. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a contact lens that um, Andy was saying is going to, you know, hopefully cost pennies. Um, just like a regular contact lens, it's just going to have a minute um, chip in it and, and sensors so that it can measure your glucose levels um, continuously from your tears. And this is going to be um, hopefully beneficial for diabetics and hopefully gonna, it's going to result in some medical advances because um, you get a lot of benefits from being able to continuously, continuously monitor this type of stuff rather than every four, uh, four days, uh, four times a day. Absolutely fascinating, although I have to say that contact lens doesn't look too comfortable. Tell us, Alistair, what is the ultimate goal of the baseline study? Um, they hope to create um, what they say will be the fullest picture of what a healthy human being should be. Um, a lot of the studies in the past have um, focused on, let's say if it focuses on, on finding out um, stuff about heart disease, they focus on sick people who, who already have heart disease. Uh, the idea here is to, to paint sort of a quote-unquote baseline picture of um, healthy people. And then once you know that, that a great detail, then you can track how these people change when they do get sick and, and you can find patterns from that. Amazing stuff. Thank you so much, Alistair, for that.